Alright you two, I know you have something to show me, so you may as well tell me right now. Ah uh, yes, you don't want to say anything because the camera's rolling. Yeah. Why do I put up with you? I don't know. Anyway, here's a fan I picked up today. At a flea market. Flea market. Thrift store. Or it could be a flea market for all we care. Seven dollar bucks. Tad much, but these things are getting hard to come by. It's another Duracraft BB DB10. I have the blue and white one. This one's the gray one. This one's like circa 90-ish. I mean, there's supposed to be like a date code or something, but it faded along with time. But yeah, DB10, 120 volts, 60 hertz, 777 hertz amp. Made in the China, but this was back when they were still making decent stuff. Now it's pretty much Walmart grade crap. And I'm doing this one-handed because I'm holding the camera. When I got it, it was kind of filthy, so I was able to clean it up best I can. Outside of putting it in the dishwasher, you can only make do with so much hydrogen peroxide wipes. So I guess what we're going to do, we're going to plug it up, and we're going to give it a go! Alright, the kids are gone, so we can turn the fan on. <laughs> Either way, we're plugged up, got the power meter going, and here's high. I know I did not try this at the store, so it probably needs to warm up some. There's a piece of there's a dust bunny that I didn't get off. Supposed to be 77 hundredths and we're running 81 hundredths. It's going down. And 49 watts. And for anyone says I think I did put a drop of oil in the front bearing. And it's slowly coming up. speed there's some thirty six watts after it's seven hundred so amp. Yep, it's going down, it's now at 7900, so it's going to go back to spec. And usually what I do after I film these, I'll let them run for a while, get them broken in, get them ready for summer. Right down, so it's getting there. It was just cold. And check the time now. Nice. So that's that. That's early 90s-ish Dorecraft DB10 box fan. I picked it for $7 at the thrift store today, and I'm sure it'll be decent enough. Hell, these were, hell, when they first came out, these were great. But nowadays, you find them, and they're just not as good as they used to. Of course, that doesn't help if the blade was smaller. So, my plan was, and there was another DB10 that I showed off a year or two ago, where the motor mounts broke, and I tried to get the blade off. I wanted to put that blade on a modern mini box fan to see if there was any difference. Those days, well, it may come again to that, I don't know. But this one, like I said, get it broken in and it'll be good to go for another 20 years. Who knows? 
So it's next time wherever it is, I'm Esky. Thank you for watching. Padlock's open. Yeah.